In this video, we take a look at how to apply a semi-permanent colour treatment. During a consultation, it may help to use visual aids, such as magazines or a colour chart, to be clear on your client's exact requirements. Before you make any recommendations, consider the client's lifestyle. For example, if they're very busy, then a high-maintenance service may not be suitable. Take into account your client's skin tone, age, personality and dress sense, as well as their hair characteristics such as the existing depth and tone and the presence of any white or grey hairs. Test the elasticity and porosity of the hair. More porous hair will need less development time. Poor elasticity is a contraindication to any treatment. Check for any psoriasis or eczema, as well as any lumps, moles, cuts or abrasions. Ask if the client is aware of any such skin conditions. Applying a chemical treatment could be very painful if any open wounds or skin conditions are present. Any colouring or perm treatment requires a skin test 48 hours prior to the service, as well as the usual elasticity and porosity test. Ask the client about any previous chemical treatments and carry out an incompatibility test if required to ensure that there will not be a reaction. Remember to record your client's responses. Section the hair into four. Protective clothing is essential for you and your client. You must wear gloves to protect from contact dermatitis and a plastic apron to protect your clothes. Protect the client's clothes with a gown and towel. It is important to only mix colours in a well-ventilated area. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions. Use a trolley for your equipment and colour so you don't need to stretch or reach for your tools. Apply the colour using a bowl and brush or straight from the bottle with a nozzle. This can be applied to wet or dry hair depending on the manufacturer's instructions. Work up through the head applying colour to each mesh of hair. Remove any colour from the client's face or ears with stain remover. Check to make sure that every part of the hair is coloured and ensure air can circulate around the hair by using the end of the tint brush to lift and separate the hair in the completed sections. Rinse the client's hair, making sure to test the water temperature on your wrist first. Massage to emulsify. Rinse the hair, making sure to check the temperature of the water with the client. Repeat rinsing as necessary to completely remove the colour. Next, condition using the appropriate massage technique. Finally, blow dry your client's hair and complete the service. Remember to provide aftercare advice for the client on the best way to maintain their new hair colour, such as product recommendations and the ideal time until their next treatment.